good morning students this is mr lee today um, i'm going to be teaching a little introduction on fractions now i know some of you get a little nervous when you look at your fraction stuff and you see um, some of the numbers in there and you're like what the heck is this like where i know i've seen these before but where um, so I'm, I'm going to do a little introduction on um, fractions today. So um, if we take a number like, if we take a fraction like one half, this top number is called the numerator. Okay, that's on the top. This is the numerator. This number down here underneath the line is called the denominator. If you think denominator down, it's under or down below the line right here. Okay, so we have numerator on the top, denominator on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna rewrite this over here. One half, this is the numerator. This is the denominator. So um, let's take this, we'll take the basic circle. You've seen, I'm sure you've seen this before um, when you're doing fractions or if you look in your fraction packet, I'm sure you've probably seen um, a fraction represented in a circle. So this whole circle right here is represented as the whole. Okay, if you think like a piece of pie or a piece of cake, my favorite is a piece of cake. Um, so we'll think about this as a, as a round cake, okay? So this whole thing right here is the whole cake, okay? Now, um, if you're like me and you really like cake, you don't necessarily like to share, okay? However, if you're told that you have to share and you have to break it up into even pieces, um, you can do it like this, okay? So if I am going to take this whole piece of cake and I'm going to share it with one person, I'm going to share um, an equal part with one person, okay? Let's say I want to give them one piece of my cake, okay? As you can see here, my cake is split up into four different um, sections. One, two, three, four, okay? I'm going to give them one piece of my cake right here, one piece out of the whole. So we know that the denominator is going to be 4. That's how many sections that are being broke up in this whole. 4 goes in the denominator. Now, the part that you're going to um, take right here and give to another person goes in the numerator. Okay. So the section I have colored in right now, or the piece that I'm going to give, is one part, one piece, out of the four pieces, out of the whole. Okay. So, I'm going to do another one. Okay, we'll take our cake again. Now, I want to give two pieces out to some friends. So, our whole stays the same. I still broke this up into four different sections. Okay, so our four goes on the bottom with the, den with the denominator. Okay, now I'm going to color in two sections right here, two pieces out of the whole. And okay, those are the pieces that I'm going to give away to someone. So um, as you can see, two shaded in. Okay, I'm going to give two fourths of my pe of my whole cake away. Okay, the, the shaded portions represent the pieces that I'm giving away. So it's two fourth. Okay. Now, let's say I'm being super generous one day with my whole cake. Okay, I'm still breaking it up into four different sections. Okay, I'm going to be really generous and give my entire cake away. I know that, that I'm feeling really generous that day. Okay, so I'm coloring in all my pieces here. 
Okay, I'm going to give those pieces away. So you can see I colored in one, two, three, four. I colored in the entire thing. So the, the part that I'm giving away for that circle or that's colored in right now is four fourths. This is also equal to one whole. Okay. Like I said at the beginning, this entire cake, even, even when I don't have these colored in, is representing one whole. Okay, one giant cake. Okay. Now, fractions can also be represented. Um, not only with like circles, but they can re be represented in um, bars. Okay, so pretend this is my um, my Hershey candy bar. Okay, I'm going to split this up into three equal pieces. Actually, we'll start with a half. Okay, so we have one half. We split our candy bar up into one half. Okay. We put a line right down the middle. This section is equal to this section. Okay? The biggest part about fractions is that both is that no matter how many you split it up into, all of the pieces have to be equal. Okay? So this is one whole candy bar right here. If I'm going to split it in half and share it, okay, I'm gonna make I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and I'm gonna take one half for myself. The other half goes to my friend, okay? Make sh making sure that they're equal pieces. Okay, now I'm going to take the same candy bar, okay, and I'm going to split it up into thirds. Okay, now we have two lines. We have one, two, three equal pieces. Okay, remember, the, the three represents the amount of... Um, pieces that it's being broken into. So our three is our denominator, okay? If I have one third, okay, let's say I'm going to give one third of my candy bar away, I would shade in one piece out of the entire whole, or the three pieces that, um, that make up the whole, okay? Now I'm gonna take the same fraction one, or um, breaking our candy bar up into thirds, Okay, but now I'm going to give two-thirds of my candy bar away. So that means I would fill in two pieces out of the whole candy bar. Okay, so our two represents our shaded amount. Our three represents the amount of pieces that we have total. Okay, so our total fraction here is two-thirds. Okay, now I'm going to give you a couple to do on your own. So... Um, if you have to, pause the video um, so you can figure these out. If it helps, write it down on a piece of paper. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make our bar right here. Okay, I'm going to split it up into four equal pieces. Okay, now I want you to tell me the shaded amount. Okay, so how many do I have shaded out of the whole? So I can tell you right now that there are four pieces. So your denominator is going to be four. Okay. Your top number, that's the question mark. That's what you're going to figure out. So you're going to figure out this, which is the um, shaded portion that I'm going to shade in. Okay. Okay. So how many boxes do I have shaded in? That's what you're going to put on top here. That's what I want you to figure out. Okay, I'm going to give you another one. This time I'm going to split it up into sixths. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. That goes on the bottom here. That's our, den our denominator. Okay, we split it up into six equal pieces. I'm going to shade in three of them. Okay. So what is our fraction? Okay. That's the number that goes on top here. That's what I want you to figure out. Okay, pause. like I said, pause the video if you have to, to, to figure that out. I'm going to do one more. Okay, this time I'm just going to split it up into two. Okay, this one's going to be on your own over here. Okay, so our bottom number is the amount of pieces that we have. I'll let you count those up. How many do I have shaded in? OK, 
Okay, pause the video if you have to to figure it out. All right, now I'm going to go back and give you the answer to these. Okay, so if you were a little bit confused, I'm going to walk you through it. So we have one, two, three, four pieces. Our denominator is going to be four. Okay, that's how many equal pieces we broke this up into. Now, if I count the shaded amount, okay, the amount that we're going to figure out for our fraction, is we have one, two, three equal pieces that were shaded in. Okay? So our fraction over here is going to be three-fourths. We shaded in three-fourths of this entire whole. Okay? Our next one, we split this up into six equal pieces. We count the shaded amount, one, two, three. We have three-sixths. So we, we shaded in three out of the six total pieces here. Three-sixths is actually equal to one-half. Okay? We have three pieces here, three pieces here. Okay? As you can kind of see right here in our bottom one, okay? this is one-half, this is one-half. Okay? We have three pieces over here, three pieces over here. Our last one, okay, we have two equal pieces that I split this one up into. It goes on the bottom. How many do I have shaded in? One, two. We have two halves, which is equal to one whole. Okay, so we shaded in the entire thing, the whole bar. Okay, thank you for joining me with our introduction to fractions. Stay tuned for more videos.